Hello! In our previous lesson, we were able to see how we could advance our design so that it looks better on iPad version. And let's even take a look at what we had. So if I check the iPad version, everything sort of like look very okay. And what we need to do right now is to complete the remaining segment of our design where we have the menu to display on the left, then the actual content in the middle, then you have the project on the right. So this should happen on bigger screen. So what we're going to be doing right now is going to allow the display to look much better on bigger screen, something similar to this. You can see that on larger screen, you have it display just as expected on the prototype. So this looks very cool and makes a lot of sense to the eyes. So let's dive into it and see how it works. For this to make sense, we need to declare another media query for bigger screen size. So what we have here is 768. How about we take it further and just give it um, 12, let's say 10, 24 pixels. Whenever the screen size is 10, 24 pixel or greater than 10, 24 pixel, we want to apply all the style. So let's see some of the things we are going to be targeting in our design. Now there are some things that we display as flex that we need to change back to block. So for, for instance, this can be flex display anymore because if you look at the example, it has to be block or true. And this as well that was displayed as flex on the iPad version need to be displayed as block so that we can have just one line instead of this display flex that we have here. So let's see how we can achieve that. So first, let's target all the flex display that we had. Take for instance, for you to quickly just get where we have flex display, you can just inspect, you can inspect the element. Now by inspecting, you can just see the container. Let's see. So in this section, you can see the section is where we have dashboard then we display it as flex the same thing even to this one as well so we're just going to target all the container that serve as flex and display them as display block so we're going to target the dashboard um, dashboard navigation let's target also dashboard then navigation target the div, then target the span. Now span elements are inline display. So we need to give that to display block. We need to target one more, which is going to be section. Okay, let's just tar target section, then secondary. So this section secondary is the one that wrapped the recent project and the chart. So let's make all of them display block. So if you check our design, you see that it's already displaying block. Even this at the bottom too is displaying block. And that makes a lot of sense. So what we need to do next is to display the navbar to be fixed on the, on the left. So how we can do that is to just target the navigation. So we can just copy this. And we're just going to and just say we want the width to display 60 pixel. Then we want it to have position of fixed, position fixed. Then Z index should be like 10. Let's do Z index of 10. So we want it to come above every other. So you can see right now is at the top of every other element and is actually fixed so it doesn't move which is ideal for our navbar moving forward let's target the main section the main section is actually this test this whole thing here so we just want to take the position or take the width let's see how we can target that so we're just going to say section then the section with main class Let's make the width 
to be 65%. So what this means is it's going to take 55 or 65%. So you can see it's already taking 65%. Yeah, this works for us for now. So let's still move forward. Um, what we need to target again is, okay, I think we seem to make some declaration to this and just make it margin left. Let's give it 90 pixel, 90 pixel, yeah, pixel. Margin right, let's give margin right um, 20 pixel. Let's see what that means. So you can see that the margin left we gave just help us to push everything just to the side so that we can have this portion cleared for our design. So this is margin left, then this is margin right. So we're going to target this and just bring it here, which is going to make a lot of sense. Okay, so that's about the section main. What we need to target now if you can guess right, is the secondary content. Let's even visit our HTML and see what we're doing. So this is the secondary content that contains the content for the chat. Yeah, so what we can do is to navigate back to our CSS and just target the secondary section. So we can just see the section with secondary class, secondary class, is what we want to, we want it to take the width of 27%, 27%, then we want padding top to be zero. On the padding top, remember we gave it padding top when we were doing for the iPad. So we want to remove the padding top to be zero pixel. So the position is going to be fixed as well want the position to be fixed then um, so if we check what's going on you won't see it yeah so let's try to because we've positioned it to be fixed so let's say we want top we want it to move top no no rope top top of 20 pixel then we want it right on the right hand side it should be zero pixel we should be able to see it now. This makes a lot of sense actually. So you can see that you'll be able to just scroll the middle segments, but this left and right should be fixed. I think that is ideal for a dashboard. Okay, now that we're able to do that, if you check what's going on here, you see that the charts, they are not maintaining 100% width of whatever size that we have. So let's see what we can do. So it means that we need to target the chart section, which is chart. Then we need to, I have to have comma there. We need to target also the recent project. So we need to give them the width of 100%. 100%. If you check it out, you should have something like this. Yeah. So let's try to say border radius. Let's give it border radius of like maybe 10 pixel. If you check it, you should see something like a curve urge border radius. Yes. Okay, so um, we need to remove the background color we attach to this section. We're going to come back to that in a short while. But what we can do right now is let's see, in fact, I think, let's just remove, let's come back to the section. I think section secondary, section secondary. Let's see if we can have background color to be transparent. Yes, so you can see that the color that we added, we've removed it, which makes a lot of sense. Okay, so moving forward, we have some few more work to do to our navigation, just that the nav so the navigation is able to um, take all of this, just like the way we have it 
here. So let's try to do similar thing. So it means that we need to target our navigation. And so let's see the structure of the navigation section. So if you check the structure, this is main, this is dashboard. Yeah, so this is navigation. So we have the section. So it means that we need to at some point target this image. We need to target this div. We also need to target this image as well. So let's see how we can pull all of these things together. So still in my CSS, I can just say dashboard. Um, dashboard. Then I want to target the navigation. Then the div. So I'm just going to give it margin top, margin top of like 20 view each, which is viewport. Um, let's give margin bottom the same thing. I'm just going to say bottom. Okay, I'm supposed to say 22. Okay, so let's see how what's going on here. Okay, we are almost there, but we also need to target the span. So to target the span, I can just still say span. I would just say we want the margin top, we really need margin top here. Let's say we want the margin top of five view parts. Let's see what we get. Okay. So you can see that you have space and everything is looking much more better. All right, so let's try to inspect our design on smaller screens and see what we get. So now if you see it's here, it's looking even on the 1024 pixel, it's looking weird. So let's see what we can do. I'm just going to reduce this size to maybe 60%. Let's even see what we get. Yeah, so this is, we get 60% here, which looks a bit better. Yeah, but what we have, the challenge we have here is that you can see that the, the avatar here is pushed to the bottom. So we can come down to our design here and just reduce this to like, 20. You can see that it's coming up a bit. Let's reduce it to maybe 19. 19. You can see that it's, you can view it again, which makes sense. So you can look at the screen sizes and it's responding. This makes a lot of sense. So another thing we can cater for is what happens when it appears on a larger screen size. I think you should be able to display three per row. Okay, so that means that we need to also declare another media query. So the media query we're going to do this time around can be much a much larger value. So we can just go for, when the screen size is more than 11, 11 pixel, then we want this style to be applicable. Basically what we want to achieve on a much larger screen, let's, even, let's return this. We want to achieve on a much larger screen like this is that we want it to be able to display to in at least this in four places or three places rather. So let's come back to our CSS and just target the section. No, just section. Section with the class of main, then project. We want the project list, I think. Yes, then project itself. So we wanted to take the list um, width of Let's say 32, 32 pixels. So let's see what we're doing. In this main, we are targeting these 
project lists. Then in the project list, we are targeting each of the projects. So we want each of the project to take 32 width. So that should help you to display, as you can see, three per row. So that makes a lot of sense. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Let's see what we can adjust as well. So the main took 60. Let's just copy this and just bring it here. So I think at this point, we can increase the width that this is taken so that it can take more width. Let's change it to 65. You can see just to eat up the space. And this looks much nicer. If you like, you can change these to, so if I say 100 divided by four should give us like 25. Yes, 25. How about we give this 24%? It should display four on a row, as you can see. So it depends on how you want to undo it. Um, so but I think I, I will leave it for 32 because we have three on the design. Just so you know that it's flexible for you to display it side by side, right? And if you inspect our design and let's say you inspect on every of the screen size, you will see that we have something that works. But I'm noticing something anyways on some on larger screen, I'm noticing that, let's go back to the actual view, that the graphics is cutting off. I think we need to just hide that because you know, we set this to fix, so we can as well just hide that portion. So let's declare another media query for a much larger screen. Maybe this time around, we want to say 1500 from 1500, then we want to target project. At this point, I think what we want to target is listing. We can also put, just make it project. Then listing, this is gonna be a long one. Then end child, number four. Want it to display none. Yes. So what happened is on larger screen, we won't display the last one. Let me see. Hope I'm not messing up the class. Something is missing here. Okay, let's check our CSS. Oh, I think this should be, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. This should be secondary. I am taking the classes from main. Oh, this should be secondary. Then recent projects, um, listing. You can see that's what we have, secondary. Then we have recent project, then we have listing, yes. I think that's where I was messing things up. So if I refresh, this should go away. Um, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so another thing that is missing here is, you can see the class here should be recent project, not project list. Recent projects, then yes, that should work can see that the fourth item is out of it. So it's easy sometimes to miss up your CSS classes and the likes. Just go through them again and you'll be able to figure out why the style is not applying. And that's how we wrap it up on this one. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media and those so that you'll be notified each time we release a new tip. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.